here's this thing. I just picked up this copy of Hank Mobley's No Room for Squares. I wanted to copy this for quite some time. It's an awesome album. Two sessions uh, on here, two different uh, groups of musicians. You got Lee Morgan and Donald Byrd on trumpet in the two sessions respectively, and um, Andrew Hill and Herbie Hancock on piano, Philly Joe Jones playing drums on both, and uh, it's a really great album. I have been looking for the Analog Productions 45 RPM release, the reissue that was mastered by Kevin Gray, but that has been back ordered forever. So I saw a, a sale of this still sealed, and I assumed it was going to be the Blue Note 75th anniversary um, reissue of this, which uh, I like those records. They're pretty affordable. You can find them routinely brand new for 15 bucks. Um, lots of people don't like them. I've never had an issue with one. Um, but this wasn't that because there's no barcode on the back. So uh, the, the Blue Note 75th anniversary reissue has a barcode. In fact, you know, just about everything in the past 30 years or whatever is going to have barcode information on the back. So this was a little bit interesting. Uh, I know it's not going to be a first pressing, unfortunately, because of this logo here on the back of the record that wasn't used until later. So it's later than 1964, probably earlier than, uh, 1990 for sure um but just looking at on discogs like when this thing was reissued uh, i'm guessing this is somewhere between 1966 and 1979 um i don't really know what we're what i'm going to find in here but it's in great shape again never opened there's one corner that has uh, seen a little damage but other than that we're we're looking pretty good here I usually don't like buying sealed records because I've always opened it to find the record inside is warped and that's been a bummer. I've never had good luck with that, but curiosity got the best of me on this one. Here's what we're dealing with. If you are an eagle-eyed Blue Note historian and you know what's going to be in here, let me know in the comments. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to open it up. I think best case scenario, um, what I'm hoping for is this is the, the Blue Note label that looks like the classic Blue Note label, but it says Division of Liberty Records. This would be like 1966. And um, for it to have the Rudy Van Gelder stamp on the runout on both sides. Uh, after that, Maybe the the logo they use for a short period of time, uh, kind of a strange looking, mostly black label with a little blue uh, edge on the side of it. Also with the Rudy Van Gelder stamps. Uh, I'm guessing really though what I'm dealing with here is probably the blue label with uh, a large lowercase b. Uh, first it was black. That was from 1973 to 1978. Uh, that was uh, when they were... Uh, owned by United Artists, I think. And uh, after that, they used a white B as the logo. So my order of preference would be the early Liberty Records Blue Note label with the Rudy Van Gelder stamper. And the one that would be least exciting, all oh, this will be fun no matter what, would be um, blue label with a lowercase white B and no Rudy Van Gelder mastering on either side. So. Uh, let's open it up and find out. Get the shrink wrap coming off here. Try not to destroy the jacket in the process. It does have a couple of creases in the jacket, so this thing definitely saw some handling in its life. But the image is glossy. There's no seam splits. Uh, to everybody who likes to save the shrink and just make a slit and pull the record out, I apologize. Uh, I don't like that myself, so I always just remove the shrink. Okay, moment of truth. What are we going to find in here? Okay, so what we have here is the blue label with the black B, which is... <laughs> second to the last place of my choice here. But 
Uh, I'll still be pretty stoked if we have a Rudy Van Gelder stamper on both runouts. And a little stoked that we have it on one. Let's see. Okay, side one. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Has the, it does have the Van Gelder stamp. Hard to see, but we've got a stereo stamp and a stamp that says Van Gelder. And then it's etched in the runout BNST 84149A. Side B, I haven't seen yet. No Van Gelder stamp. So this is pretty common. Uh, and you can tell the handwriting is different too. Actually, so it's etched BNST on the, the side A run out and it's etched BST 84149-2 with the twos crossed out on side B. And there is no Van Gelder stamper. So um, that is what I'm dealing with. All in all, this was a fun experiment. One consolation prize is uh, unlike a lot of records that Blue Note put out, the sessions aren't separated by side. So um, we've, we've actually got Lee Morgan and Donald Bird and Andrew Hill and Herbie Hancock all on the Rudy Van Gelder mastered side, if that's any better. Um, so we can we can hear them in their full Rudy Van Gelder glory. I didn't really mind it that much. I have uh, lots of later Blue Note reissues that weren't mastered by Rudy Van Gelder, and uh, they all sound pretty good to me. So I hope this was uh, interesting and entertaining for you. And um, next time I buy a sealed record uh, and there's any mystery, I'll open it here again. Thanks.